Hey guys, so a friend of mine has asked me not to forget the simple stuff in Houdini. So here I want to show how to do scattering of points onto Geo, both 2D and 3D kind of scatter. So here I'll start off. So here I've got a sphere and you can use the scatter node here and this will scatter a bunch of points on the surface of that geometry. So if I mess with the point count, you can see it's somewhat hard to determine whether that is actually on the inside or not. So what I've done is I've set up a box here that I'm then going to use as a bounding box to take a slice of this group of points here to show you what's going on. So I've plugged in my points and the box into the group node, like so. And it's got points and I'm enabling bounding object here. You can use one of the presets, but I prefer to have a bit more control over the bounding. So the points come in. If I view that, you can see I'm using this box, which I've changed to this size. And you can already see the group of points that it's isolated. And you can see that there's none in the center. So then if I go in and I use a blast node to then delete nothing but the surface points, which is the name of my group. So surface points is the points that I've isolated using this bounding because I've used a bounding box to determine which points are gonna be in this group. So if I blast them out of the way, you can then see I have a 2D scatter. If I mess with the point now, you can see. Cool. So if I go over here to my 3D scatter, I've got my sphere again. Now this one was NURBS and this one is polygons, but it doesn't really matter which. So here I've got a VDB from polygons node, which will help me convert if I click it. So now I've converted my sphere into an entire volume and I've got a voxel size of 0.04. And then what you can do here is use the points from volume node and that will then scatter points inside your volume. So again, it's quite hard to see whether this is inside or outside. So I'm using the bounding object again and I've got the group node here. You can see I'm taking a slice and this slice, if I use the blast to then get rid of everything else, it's a 3D slice. And if I increase, then if I increase the point separation here, you can actually see that I have indeed have a 3D slice. So just to compare, if I show you that one with the other one, this one is scattering points on a 2D surface. This one is scattering points on a 3D volume. So I hope that helped you guys out. And one cool thing I did notice when I was scattering the points on the volume is you had this weird, let me go back. You had this weird pattern that I mentioned. And just by doing a bit of exploring, you can actually see that it kind of looks like there's an entire fractal world inside this scatter, which is pretty cool. So just merging them together, that is how you do the scatters. Thanks for watching.